barbecue alley near the ancient souk in Marrakesh is where Meshwi masters roast whole lambs in huge clay pits underground. Did someone say clay pit? That's the inspiration for this lamb shoulder, seasoned with an electrifying Berber spice paste and roasted in a Kamado-style ceramic cooker. This is a five-pound grass-fed lamb shoulder. It comes from a small farm in Pennsylvania. You can see the USDA mark of approval. This is an edible blue vegetable dye. Take the tip of a paring knife and make a series of small holes in the top and sides of the lamb. This will help foster the absorption of the spice paste. Next for the spice paste, it starts with onion, diced fresh ginger, and rough chopped fresh garlic. Next, add that quartet of Berber spices, sweet paprika, ground cumin, ground cardamom for fragrance, and a little ground cinnamon for sweetness. Next, add a generous pinch of sea salt and freshly ground black pepper, freshly grated lemon zest for brightness, then freshly squeezed lemon juice. Grind these ingredients to a paste in a food processor or pound them in a mortar and pestle as they would do in Morocco. Add enough extra virgin olive oil to obtain a smooth paste. And continue grinding the spice paste until smooth. Now take your spice paste and spread it all over the lamb. Spices and aromatic root vegetables will flavor the lamb. The oil will keep it moist during roasting. Marinate the lamb in the refrigerator for at least four hours, preferably overnight. To roast the lamb, I'm using a Kamado-style ceramic cooker. I built a hot bed of coals in the firebox. Then I'll install the heat diffuser, sometimes called a convector plate, in the grill. This gives us an indirect heat. And finally, the grill grate. Here's the lamb shoulder. It has marinated overnight. And I'll place it in the cooker. To monitor the cooking, I'm using a Maverick XR30 remote thermometer. Clamp the temperature probe on the grill grate. This tells you the cooking temperature at grill level, then insert the meat probe deep into the lamb shoulder and close the grill lid. I'll press the food button till it beeps. Increase the temperature, 170 degrees. Moroccans like their lamb quite well done. Finally, adjust the vents on your Kamado to obtain a cooking temperature of about 350 degrees. Cooking time, about three hours. Here's a fresh tomato sauce that accompanies lamb throughout Morocco. Start by taking an onion, cutting it in half lengthwise. Then using a box grater, grate the onion into a bowl. Next, take a tomato, cut it in half widthwise, and grate the tomato on the grater into the bowl. Next, add the juice of a lemon, squeezing it through your fingers to catch the seeds. Then your seasonings, sea salt, freshly ground black pepper, 
ground cumin, one of the essential flavorings of Morocco, sweet paprika, and finely chopped flat leaf parsley. Stir the ingredients for the sauce together. And here's your Moroccan tomato sauce. Hmm. Cumin scented and lovely. Back to the lamb. It's been three hours and check out the lamb. It looks beautiful. You can see the meat has shrunk back from the ends of the bones by about an inch. Our internal temperature coming up to 170 degrees. Take out the probe. Here's your Moroccan lamb with Berber spices. You can see it's crusty, golden. Man, I want to dive into that. To serve with it, grilled bell peppers, grilled pita, and of course, your fresh tomato sauce. So, let's see how we did. Look at that, the knife glides through the lamb as though through butter. Now take a piece of pita. So first, I'll take a taste by itself. Hmm, that lamb is incredibly tender. Moist, juicy, nice spice flavor. Now, I'll try it with the tomato sauce. Mm. That tomato sauce, so lively, so fresh, and the cumin really takes me back to the souk in Morocco. Mm. 